Hello everybody, this is Stefano from Soto Zen channel. Welcome to this video tutorial. First of all, I want to apologize for my basic English. I ask you to be patient with all the grammar mistakes that I will do for sure during this video. As you can see, we are in Blender here and this is a simple balloon with our logo I've modeled before. What we want to do is take this guy duplicate it many times to have something like this. This scene comes from up and down, our short video that we made for fun and that is clearly inspired to the uh, famous animation film from Pixar. And the background here is the place where we live, only to introduce ourselves a little bit better. We are from northeast of Italy, beautiful place, not far from Venice, the name is Verona, some picture for you. This is the famous uh, Romeo and Juliet balcony and this is our version of Romeo waiting for Juliet to come. And I think she won't come, but anyway. What we have here is hundreds of balloons interacting together, moving, following some physics simulation and uh, it may also look uh, like uh, all these balloons are moving up the car, but it is not. It's actually the opposite and I think this is the most uh, interesting part of this tutorial. This car here is animated, it goes up and turn a little bit and the car is pulling up all these rigid bodies while they continue their own simulation, they move, interact and collide each one with the, the other and also as you can see uh, each one balloon is connected to the car by their own string. I think this is quite interesting and cool effect and uh, I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. So let's jump back to Blender and we can start. Okay, for the first part of this tutorial I refer to the Enigma Toots video and I want to thank this guy for his great tutorial and it's a very simple setup. What we need is that this balloon stay connected to one control object. We start by making this uh, balloon rigid body. We can leave all the setup in the default way. And if we now hit play, as we expected, the balloon falls down. But we need the opposite effect. So we go here and uh, in the values for the gravity we change from uh, negative to positive and if we now hit play bye bye balloon it flies away. What we need now is uh, a control object a simple cube uh, will be okay so shift a mesh cube we scale little bit down we go here and we give him a uh, appropriate name ctr balloon. I also like to make all the control object appear in wire mode to better organize my scene. Now I need the cube also to be a rigid body. So again here click rigid body and change from active to passive. Passive means that uh, it simulate and interact with all the other objects in the simulation but it doesn't move. We can animate it but uh, it doesn't move. So now we need uh, to make a constraint between these two objects. We select first the balloon and then the cube and we go to constraint, connect, we choose type and from all these we choose point and location active to make this, this constraint happens. If we now change a little bit the position of this balloon and we try to hit play, we see what is happening and this constraint works uh, in the good way. It looks like uh, a balloon uh, should be. What we see is that the balloon takes a, a really long time to go back to its rest position and this is not what we want. To avoid this and change 
we have to go to the to this panel here and in the dumping factor the translation value we change this up maybe 0 0.5 is okay if we hit play again you can see that uh, it goes faster to his resting position what we need now is to make uh, a hierarchy of this simple setup with the cursor in the right position in this case in the center of our world shift a empty plane axis and uh, we name this uh, balloon dot zero 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 this is because we will have many of these with this we can select the balloon the control object the constraint and last we select the balloon dot zero 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 control p and set parent to object now as you can see here we have uh, only one object that control all uh, the other we can move around all the setup hit play wherever we want and the simulation starts again now the funny part start if we hit play we have our simulation and what we have to do we select all shift d duplicate the two hierarchy and we hit play and now we have uh, two balloons interacting together and what is now useful to know is that if we select these two balloons and we go here in the simulation physics uh, rigid body panel we hit apply transformation and now the two balloons stay still to the last uh, simulation frame and if we go back to the first frame and we hit play again they start moving and interacting from this point with this done again a and a we select them all and shift d and now we have four you see that they explode a little bit and then again start to collide themselves and interact again together in the right way so one two three four again we select apply transformation go back to first frame select them all shift d and we have eight and this is very really very cool maybe what we want to do now we can change a little bit their position to make more interesting the, the simulation to make a little bit random position each one of the balloons and we select again all apply transformation we go back to first frame ah, sorry shift c a and a select them all again shift d duplicate them all again and voila yeah as you can see it start to be quite uh, many balloons interacting together we go to right view we can now uh, box select them all and move them a little bit up again a to select them apply transformation we go back to the texture view mode and only for fun again we duplicate them all and voila many balloons exploding around and coming back to their position colliding and <laughs> this is really cool and yeah you can go you can go on if you want but for the purpose of this tutorial we stop here and instead we go back to only one of this balloon and i want to show you how we make the the string to follow the movement of each balloon okay as you can see now i deleted all uh, the hierarchy all the other balloons and i 
only have uh, one and for the string we need uh, a simple cylinder object shift a mesh cylinder six faces six vertices is uh, enough for for this we scale him very thin maybe more yeah this way it's okay we scale on the axis and maybe in tab mode is more easy we box select these points here and uh, box selected we box select also this and what we want now is to hook this point to this object and to do this we go in this panel here and vertex group we choose new one we can name this top and we now hit ctrl h ah sorry first we ctrl select the balloon and with this uh, um, cluster here selected we hit ctrl h and we select hook to selected object what we have done now is uh, if we go back to our scene and we select the balloon you can see now the string uh, is also moving and we do now the same for this uh, control object we box select these uh, points here and we do the same in the vertex tab, mo tab panel here we hit the plus button and we create another cluster we can name this bottom and again we control select the control object the cube in this case control H and hook to selected object again if we exit from uh, um, the, um, the edit mode and we select the cube and we try to move you can see that the cylinder deform and follow the cube position and this is it essentially because now if we go back to our simulation maybe we take this balloon here we move and we hit play you see the balloon move and also this uh, cylinder deforming itself to follow in the proper way the movement of the balloon what now we have to do is uh, we take this string we select the balloon hierarchy and again we control p set parent to object and for the last part of this tutorial we want to show you how we make our car move and uh, pull up all the balloons interacting together shift a mesh uv sphere let's pretend that this object is our car we now select the balloon hierarchy this object and ctrl p set parent to object with this sphere selected let's go back to our first frame it high in the location tab to insert a keyframe and we can go to little bit ahead on in the timeline and uh, move a uh, little bit up our sphere and again it high and what we have now is uh, our sphere that moves but as you can see the control object moves and the string uh, gets shorter but this is not what we want and to solve this little problem on all we have to do is uh, select our our control object the control balloon that is a rigid body a passive rigid body and check this box animate animated and make it an animated rigid body 
if we now go back to first frame and hit play you can see it's like the balloons is going up and lifting up the sphere you can also now select your hierarchy here duplicate again and you have uh, the two balloons simulated interacting in the right way and they are pulled up by the animation of this object and this and in this way we made uh, this hundreds balloon interacting together with physics simulation pulled up by a normal object animated in blender okay that's it i hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial again i apologize for my basic english consider subscribing to our youtube channel for more funny videos thanks for watching see you next time ciao